we're going to look at diving into using your landing page section on your Lofty. So the way you get here, when you log into your Lofty or your Chime, you go to the top and click on marketing. After you click on marketing, you're going to go down all the way down. It'll pop up like this. You're going to scroll all the way to the bottom on the left, and you're going to look for landing pages. So when you go to landing pages, this is a place here. This um, section gives you a great opportunity to do a lot of different marketing and build a lot of different ways and get leads. So for example, if I wanted to feature a listing featured in area, let's say I want to get leads in the San Antonio area. If I click featured area and I go here to my area spot, and I type in Converse, so you want Converse is first, we'll pretend Converse. I want to go to Converse, great. Now I know that I want, these are all homes, if I hit save here, that are going to be showing up in Converse for sale according to my MLS, because this is loaded from your MLS, of course, because it's connected that way. Now, one of the cool things you can do when you check it, that bar out of the way, is you can go over here when it loads, and you'll see right now that here it is, Converse. All the homes are loaded. Everything is good. And then when someone clicks on your link to look at it, they're going to have to sign in. But you want to do a couple quick things really, really quick first to check. So you always can go to settings and you can go through and make sure you like how it, you know, it looks good. You know, require registration in order to browse. When they browse so much, they have to browse. After they've been browsing for 10 seconds, they can make some register. You can change all that. You can, you can let them just browse forever and never have to register. It's all up to you. You can allow Facebook and Google to register. You can click register through Facebook and Google. All that's in here. So is this a private lead? It's not a team lead. It's a private lead. Always check that. And then you can tag and put some tags and put some notes. You want to send a welcome email and text all the time. And then here's some SEO with a meta tag. See homes for sale, Stephen Hernandez. That's going to show up over here. And you also have, you know, research homes, research value. If you scroll down, you'll see those things are all in here built into it. So you can also add a different photo if you want the front picture of your home when you post it to be different. You can have that right here. See, if I hit upload image, I'm just going to grab one from some other homes I did earlier. So if I grab this image, for example, and then I hit add. It lets me upload it. There it goes. Okay. Took a second to load it up. And there's the home. I'm going to say that one looks great. I'm going to add it. So now that image you'll see in a minute when I post it, it's going to be my first one. So there's some great, easy things you can do. Here's what your pop-up content looks like. If you want to do all that, you know, um, and then you have your page tracking, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can, if you have a Facebook pixel, which I recommend getting, you can put that right here. You can put your Google analytics tag right there as well. So anyone who clicks it will be caught with your Google analytics also, which is awesome. And then you, if you want to change the style, I recommend not messing with your style too much. That changes your colors, everything like that. But one thing you do want to look at is right here where it says SEO. So once you click on that little SEO, which means search engine optimization or how people find you, now this is Converse. So I'm gonna say homes for sale in Converse. And then, you know, Converse homes for sale. And then I'm gonna say homes for sale in 78109, you know, you know top, Nine. I might do um, top agent near me. Anything like this that would bring, you only have 100 characters, see? So I'm already at 95. So then you want to hit get analysis, and it lets you know how good those keywords are. So we have some green, some, yeah, okay, some green, some are all right. So we got a good mixing. We have some average, and the higher there's 10. These ones are great keywords. You can see they're green, they're powerful. External link is a nine. You can check it. See, this contains 2,000, you know, da 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 the external link. Great job. Look at this one. Yeah, not great. Use more key phrasing. So don't worry too much about that. And then if you go to readability, this means Google. We have a lot of really good keywords. We have two that aren't great, five that are great. So this means that when you people search it, the SEO is decent. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. And then once I have this ready to go, and it looks good, and I have my style, my settings, everything looks good in my block, I can hit publish. Some people, when they first click, if they have just getting into their Lofty and haven't done this before, you won't have this Publish button activated. You'll have to go through and click every single box here on the left and then come back and hit Publish. Now, the fun thing is when, when you hit Publish, if you don't, don't check this box at the bottom, I like to do it this way, but it's up to you how you want to do it. I like to go to Post to Social, and then it's going to open up. 
And then once it opens, let me give it a second to let it open. Because remember, this is a multi-property squeeze page or landing page for a featured area. So once it opens, see here's my picture. So it has a picture that I want it to show up. I'm going to copy that writing, the link which connects to this picture. I'm going to just show you in Facebook because it's simple. You can do this in your business, personal, whatever. Keep it simple. I'm just going to keep it on my personal because that's what opens instead of waiting for everyone to dig through. And then once you load it up and it's good to go, it'll see you has the preview building right here. That's what these lines mean. So once it puts it in and it gives you a preview, I highlight the whole line and then I delete it. And once you post it, it'll have that actual picture instead of this gray bar. It's just the wife, the internet slow a little bit this morning. So then what you would put is like, you know, hey, are you looking for a new home in Converse? Check out this awesome list of the, or this free list of the most popular homes, more updated than Zillow or Realtor.com. If you want to see something like that, you can. Anything fun like that would be fine. And you should be good that. And then you hit post. I'm just going to show you an example. So once it's post and everything looks good, you'll have it here where someone clicks it, it opens up and you'll see it goes right to that single property squeeze page for all the homes in Converse. And then boom, right there. And then you can start looking. After 10 seconds, I think I might already be logged in. I'm already logged in, I think. So after 10 seconds, it might, it'll make a client who's not logged in, log in. So that's just a really cool way that you can touch that. Let me get back to Lofty. And that's your social studio. We'll get another video into that. I'm going to kick back to landing pages now. So that was here where it said feature a list or a, a featured area. Another thing that I really recommend doing because then you can see right here, now the Converse website is right here. I can use this anytime I want because I already built that Converse featured area page. If you have a buyer or seller guide, even if you don't, they give you one. Let's say you want to work with seller, you do the same thing. Seller guide download. The name of it is what? Seller guide, of course. And then I hit save. It's going to open up the same way. You'll see it's a very similar every time. And then I can check my style. I can check my settings if I want to change anything. You know, Google, Facebook, private lead, not team. I can do page tracking, put in my analytics, all this stuff. And I'm going to, they can want to, because they're going to register already to get your name, email, phone. So I don't want them to have to register again. They might get angry. I'm like, this is a private lead. You can add tags. You can send welcome email and text. You do a lot of fun stuff here. Don't mess with it too much. And then you have your same SEO the search engine optimization. And I would, you know, how to sell a home, how to sell a home by yourself, et cetera, et cetera. And then you would hit get analytics and that would be put in there. And then after I click all these buttons real quick, now you see Lofty gives you a lot of opportunities. I can change the style. I can pull these up and down if I want, whatever I want to do to make it look different. And here's Steven, the agent who's nice enough. So if you guys need a home in San Antonio, here's his information right here, 210861. 6686, great agent with real. Nice for him to give him a little shout out since he let me use his loft to do this video. And then you kind of go through and you can see all these different things you can do. And then we do the same thing. You hit publish. Once you hit publish, I'm going to go to post to social again. Easy for me to say. And then I'm going to copy my link. If it gives you an issue, just copy the whole thing. I'm going to jump back to Facebook. Drop it in there. And then once I put the whole link in there, it's going to give me the preview like it did last time. See, home, get your selling guide. I'm going to highlight everything again and then delete it. Now, if you like the wording where it says have an experienced person on your side, professional, etc., you can do that and leave it in there. And then you just have to delete that URL, that link. And that will now the link is now embedded in the picture. So you created what's called the web hook by embedding that link in the picture, not to get too wild. But then you would post it, and then if someone clicks it, it's gonna open up, and then it's gonna go right back to your page that you just created. And that's the simple way to do it. Let me get rid of this page too. Lofty likes to open a million tabs for us. We're gonna close some of these out and get back to just some basic ones. All right, so now that we're here back again, so now you can see if I hit refresh, we now have the Converse, we now have the Seller's Guide, Right here, Seller Guys Converse. Here's some other things. They did a home worth. There's a whole bunch of different things, as you can tell. If you want to see all of them, go to the far right. Click this little arrow to the right and click View More. Once you click View More, you have all kinds of different areas, different lead, different landing pages, different spots, home tours, everything you want to do, lead registrations. All this is in here. 
and you can grab all these links and build these landing pages with them and then take them and see right here if I want listings or for sellers or for buyers or for activities like meeting with lean. You can also, of course, build your own landing page. And these ones are all good to go. Very simple to use. They're all built through that same process. Click it, fill it out, pick your area or your home or whatever you're offering. Check all the buttons, change it to private lead, check your SEO, all that. Copy the link, share away. That's simple. Once it's built, now you're all like, wow, that's great, amazing, yay. Once it's built and you come back, if I want to repost my seller's guide, I don't have to rebuild the whole thing. I just go here to this little button here, and then that's the share button, and here's my link. And I can go right back here, grab my link, share it again, and have fun with it. You don't have to rebuild the whole thing. Just grab the one that's built, share it out, and have fun, and then you're good to go. And then again, I'm back on my landing page. We'll do another video talking about Social Studio, but I'll walk you through that next. So hopefully that was helpful. Very simple. Walk through, practice with your landing pages. You want to be sharing it at least one landing page a day to your social media. If you do Facebook, Instagram, once you share it to your social media platform, you want to share it to 10 different groups. And that's important to get you out there. So people can see you, know what you're offering, all that kind of good stuff when you share it to the different groups. And that just gives you some better opportunities that way to share to the groups, have it work, and then make it work that way. So it's really good. If you have any questions, please reach out. I'd love your feedback and help. Talk to you soon.